Welcome to another episode of the Seiyu Cafe Radio with me, your host. Welcome, everyone. Welcome, welcome. So, oh my god. Okay. One of my very, very huge problems about live streaming is that my internet won't work. <laughs> I am very, very. I'm very, very brave for doing this actually. <laughs> But. Yeah. So. Where was I? I hope this is. I hope this is actually. Streaming properly. If not, then I'm just gonna do anything that I. I'm just gonna do this. I mean, I'm just gonna re-upload the video later. If this doesn't work, <laughs> the live stream doesn't work. <laughs> anyway, so for those of you who are seeing it on the screen. Today we will be talking about the popular and wonderful seiyu Yusuke Kobayashi and if some of you didn't know we were able to interview him a few um, months ago and we were able to release or launch our new project uh, the seiyu interview so yeah Today we will be talking about the experiences of, you know, actually interviewing a voice actor. I'm kind of nervous because I'm trying my best not to, you know, sort of divulge a lot of information from this. But I will try my utmost best to, you know, share our story at least so yeah our point before we start by the way just a few disclaimers number one we don't have a say you guest for today <laughs> maybe soon Ooh, maybe soon but not now number two Like I previously mentioned, I won't be able to say a lot of things. So, because of, you know, confidentiality, but I'll try my best to share my experiences. And at number three, also, as I've mentioned before, it is very possible that this stream would be laggy because I have a stupid internet. I am very brave for doing this right now, so. <laughs> Anywho. Okay, let's start. So, who is Yusuke Kobayashi? So, Yusuke Kobayashi is a male Japanese voice actor from the Seiyu agency Yurin Pro. He was born in March 25, 1985 in Tokyo, Japan. 
and has been active as a voice actor since 2009 until present. So, what are his famous roles? You might have seen or heard him in a lot of animes before. Uh, so, if you, for those viewing on YouTube right now, if if you're wondering why I didn't put any pictures, it's because previously I actually added pictures, but <laughs> his office told me not to. So. <laughs> This is the only picture that we're allowed to show him. <laughs> okay, so some of his famous roles is Ishigami Senku in Dr. Stone, Natsuki Subaru in Red Zero, and Arthur Boyle in Fire Force. He has a lot, actually. He has so many. And then some of his three show Otome, Otogibanashi. Then we have Soma Kazuya from How a Realist hero rebuilt the kingdom and then we have Aikawa Fudo from currently uh, in this season spring anime 2022 he voices the red ranger in Aikawa Fudo in love after world domination so yeah so before I go to my discussion this is my fan question for today I will be asking you guys this question and i will read your live messages later so what is your favorite yusuke kobayashi role and why so remember that question okay i will be reading some of your live messages today and i am seeing so many people right now uh, no, i mean for me it's many hi people hello to shani stella hello to raids chan Hello to Crescent Moon, hello to Toshiro, hello to YKT and DM translations, hello, hello, hi to Reza, hi to Dana, <laughs> and then hi to Jean, and hi to Xion, oh, so many people are here, okay, so remember this question, okay, uh, huh, so before we continue, uh, before we continue, let's continue. I mean, <laughs> do you see how do you see how nervous I am right now? Okay, so for the before, before the interview, um, what am I supposed to say? Actually, this interview is a partnership between the Seo Cafe and Rhythm Clap. And Rhythm Clap was the one who was able to help us do this interview. And they uh, they approached us since last year and asking me if we could partner with them to do this, these things. And then... Okay, so let me just go to before the <laughs> interview. There were a lot... Uh, okay, I don't know if I'm allowed to say I'm not allowed actually. So let me just go to this. Jenang. Okay. I'm actually not allowed to say the names, but there were a few suggestions as to which say we were supposed to interview. But we ended up with Yusuke Kobayashi because he was the one available for us in the set time that we were given. And then. There were many preparations actually. Um, we had to practice. We had to do. Okay, first of all, I had to. I had to choose honestly, which people I'm supposed to, which admins I'm supposed to have during the interview because I couldn't bring everyone. I have to choose because I didn't want to. You know, you know, it's like in a party, like you're invited but you shouldn't be bringing your whole family to the party because that would be a bit <laughs> that would, that's that's going to be a bit rude and a bit you know embarrassing so i had to choose and since this was the first time we're doing this i had to decide to choose one of the people that i trusted so some of them are actually here in the live right now so there's Dana and there's Jean. 
they were with me they were one of the people one of the people who were with me when i was uh and we were doing the interview so um when emmy she was the one who was talking to us uh she's one of she's also one of our japanese admins who helped us do this interview when emmy told us that it's been decided that yusuke kobayashi will be the seiyuu who we will be interviewing we were panicking so much especially me oh, I, I know i'm, I'm not sure the, the others are panicking of course um for me i was also panicking because he was one of my favorite seiyuus as well i love him as um Ishigami Senku as mentioned I also love him as Tamahiko Shima and then I listened to his Paradox Live as well uh, Yato no Kami he was such a good rapper there so I was like oh my god are we really going to interview Yusuke Kobayashi so that's that's the who feeling in the before and we were like are we really gonna interview him? Is this gonna be for real? I wasn't even sure. So, some of us, I think some of the admins know that it's. it feels like it's not real since we still don't know. We were actually very cautious because we still don't know. Uh, unless the day happens, we are not sure if we are really going to be able to interview Yusuke Kobayashi. So, that's just the feeling before so after emmy told us that it's going to be yusuke kobayashi we prepared questions for him we we listed so many questions to ask him but his office had to choose which ones uh, he could answer because i think Oh, um, it's not that I think, but we were limited with time in the interview, so he had to we we had to cut down the questions, and then what else? Uh, I, I just remember during that time we were panicking so much that that was the that was the biggest feeling that we were feeling. Like <laughs> I, I have to reiterate that we were just panicking so much or we were nervous because how why when where what something like that so a few okay I'm, I'm just jumping through topics right now i feel so stupid but yeah so before the actual interview when we were given the date two weeks before we had to practice <laughs> during the practice uh, we had to practice asking him the questions and us answering the questions that we were supposed to be asked because it's like a two-way interview if you read the article it's a two-way interview he asked us things and then we asked him things so we practiced without him yet we just practiced with emmy and one of the translators uh I just remember his name was Hiro. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but yeah, we were we were practicing. But even in the practice, we were just very very nervous. Uh, uh, we tried practicing the answers. We tried practicing the questions. But overall, Emmy told us that we were doing okay. But still, you know, the, the feeling is still different, even though. I don't know. It's just it's just something that even up until now I don't know what to feel. So the the practice went all right without a hitch and the translator was able to tell us that we did great. Uh that our speed of answering was okay. He will be able to translate it properly for Natsuki <laughs> Super. I mean, for Yusuke Kobayashi. <laughs> oh my gosh, the same fan syndrome. I'm so sorry. Okay, so that was the before. Now, during the day, 
during the day of the interview. So, how do I explain this? During the day, I <laughs> I don't know what preparations the other admins did, but during that day, I had to. Um, it was a Friday, and I had to ask my work if I could take a half day because I wanted to prepare my feels and my heart <laughs> at least a few hours before the actual interview so I took a half day at work and then for the remaining day after work before the interview I was just pacing around the room I was like how do I what do I do what do we do there's only four hours before the interview there's only three hours before the interview I was just pacing around my house and I don't know I I I added me <laughs> I I prepared myself so much. I practiced a lot again and again for my answers. Um I I added wake up even though it's going to be a virtual interview. <laughs> I I don't even know if my makeup was uh visible. Um I added I I I I I actually fixed my hair. I have so many baby hair and it's popping around and I have to fix it so that I would look presentable during the interview so one hour before the interview I was panicking I was that that was the most panicked I've ever been in my entire life okay um this is not um this is not connected to this interview but I used to I mean perform before uh on stage but that was this interview the one hour before the interview didn't even uh compare to my nervousness from when i used to perform so i was like oh my god my hands were sweating i feel cold <laughs> i i don't know what the other admins were feeling i just know that i i i'm i messaged them the day before and i was like thank you guys for doing this with me i couldn't do this without you i wouldn't be able to do this without you so let's do our b a few uh at the night before but one hour before we were like is this real we're gonna do this omg 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 so okay 30 minutes before the interview i had to practice again and again i had to check my freaking internet my some of you guys who are here who knows my internet you know how stupid my internet is i was panicking because i didn't want to like be choppy during the interview because i had a lot of things to ask i have a lot of things to answer if i would be choppy i'd feel embarrassed so i was praying to every god available <laughs> please just one hour one hour what or more than one hour just give me this for for this interview to be okay and then during the interview so we were in the interview ch uh, interview room i mean virtually we used zoom by the way <laughs> we used zoom the one and only so we were already there our photos are there the other admins looked really really nice if you saw the photos the, the caricatures in the interview article that was what we looked like uh, during the interview but we the, the caricature was very very pretty though <laughs> we were like we are, this caricature is so pretty in the article uh, anyway that was what we looked like during the interview. Our pictures were ready. There was uh, there was the frame or the video for Yusuke Kobayashi, and then we were preparing. <laughs> we were we were frozen in our seats waiting, and Emmy was like, "He will be coming in a bit," and then in a few moments, <laughs> the door opened, and in came Yusuke Kobayashi 
into the frame and we were like our, 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 our smiles were plastered and we were we were just oh my god it is real <laughs> at that point at that moment i'm pretty sure everyone all of us admins were like omg this is real because he entered the room and we were excuse me we were waiting for them to fix themselves okay there was a question who made those caricature by the way it was from a friend uh someone it was a friend of emmy the the one who helped us so she asked a friend to create those caricatures for us isn't it nice we look really nice in the caricature yeah so again we were waiting he after he entered they were preparing and they were like uh talking to each other in japanese emmy his kikobayashi and his manager and then the, uh, the admins were there were me, Jean, Dana, and Yuki. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we were just smiling, looking at the screen, waiting for them to finish talking. And then Yusuke Kobayashi finally sat in front of the camera. And there was actually a bit of a hitch, uh, a bit of a problem. I don't know if that was the camera or their internet, but they had to switch cameras, I think, from phone camera to laptop camera but whichever way uh Yusuke Kobayashi finally sat in front of the camera he had his mask because if some of you didn't know Japan still has this Japan's situation for the coronavirus is still isn't stable I think so they had they still have to use masks so yeah they did he was using a mask and then but of course we know it's him because he would remove his mask sometimes and then he would drink water and oh my god he's <laughs> kekobayashi the the first thing that went into my mind was that oh my gosh he's so handsome <laughs> oh my I cannot reiterate I, I cannot reiterate to you. He is handsome. He looks so good even if the if, even if it's in the camera. And then we started. So what happened during that? Uh, uh, okay. So this part I'm not able to mention a lot, I think, since most of it is confidential, but I remembered that as soon as we started talking uh he, re- he was like uh, i forgot how, to, how it started though but he was like he he actually spoke to us in english he introduced himself to, uh in english oh wait i we introduced ourselves first i think if i remember correctly we introduced ourselves first then me being <laughs> me being who's someone who would like to you know show off maybe not show off but i want to show how how eager we are with this we were like i i introduced myself in english and japanese so it's like uh konbanwa watashi wa arisa desu yoroshiku onegaishimasu i i said that so i was like good evening my name is arisa uh it's nice to meet you and he was like Ah, Nihongo Jozu. <laughs> it was funny because that was practiced. I actually asked Emmy before the interview if I could say that and she was like, "Yeah, sure, sure, you can." And yeah, I I I would have to say that being Nihongo Jozu by a seiyuu is one of the best things I've ever experienced. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> So after I introduced myself, the others also introduced themselves. And the one thing that I noticed is I, the one thing that made me really happy is that every time we uh, introduced ourselves, Yusuke Kobayashi would say, Hello, Alisa in English, or Hello, Jean, or Hello, Tana, or Hello, Yuki. So that was, we were like, Oh my gosh, it's really so nice. 
and then after we introduced ourselves he introduced himself in english so he was like hello i am say you yusuke kobayashi i think he said something like that he introduced himself in english and i had to tell him wa ego josu <laughs> I had to tell him Ego Josu because he Nihongo Josu me, so I had to say it to him as well. And then he was laughing and he was like, I forgot what he said because I don't speak a lot of Japanese, so I I just think that he said that no, I, his his English isn't as good. So that was my experience. <laughs> that was really really exciting. So during the interview, the first part was. him asking us questions and us replying to his questions then uh, the, the another uh, like i mentioned before the nice thing about him is that every after answers that we give him he would say thank you alisa or thank you dana or thank you jean he thanked us one by one every after we answer and we would just smile and ah thank you as well and Um what else? So after the interview, uh, after him asking us questions, the longer part was us asking him questions because our answers were practiced since we kn- we knew the questions b- uh, before, so we were able to answer it and practice it. But I don't know about Yusuke's answers if he wa- he practiced it or not, but I feel I felt like he didn't practice it and it was on the spot or i don't know i feel like he knew it but his answers were long so and he uh, and the translator had to translate his answers to us so we would understand and he's actually very insightful that was what i thought of him during our part of the question to him he was very insightful and We were actually really surprised with the answers because we didn't know this part of him something like that. Like for example, he didn't know that he was popular. He only knew because he won last year. And we were told like I think some of you guys saw the post on our page but some seiyus don't know their popularity outside of Japan. So To hear it from an actual seiyu is like, oh my gosh, really? Um it was really nice to think that gradually they're n- they're realizing their popularity outside of Japan. And one of the one of my favorite um answers from him is that he would like to visit Venice. Even th- even without the translator saying uh, that it's Venice, Venice, or how do you pronounce it? Venice, Venice, Venice. He, uh, I think the Japanese word is Venezia, Venezia. So yeah, the question was in the interview. The question was, which place in the world would you like to visit? And he mentioned USA for work and Ven- Venice for. leisure i mean who wouldn't venice is such a wonderful place and we were uh, during the time in the interview we were oh and nodding like that and smiling something like that and so i think we weren't able to ask another question because our time was limited it was only one hour and at the end of the one hour by the way We were able to give him a present. So I oh my gosh, it's already 30 minutes and I missed saying this in the before. But we asked some Yusuke Kobayashi fans to give him a message via handwritten notes or handwritten letters. We asked everyone, and uh, no not everyone, but we asked a few people to create uh, to write a message for Yusuke Kobayashi. At first we said it was for his birthday, but we di- we ha- we can't mention that it was for the interview, so we had to say it's for his birthday. And there were many people 
who gave us letters. And it was from all over the world. There were from France, there were from Germany, there were from USA, there were from Spain or Mexico, I think. It was all over the world. So we gave it at the last part of the hour during the interview, and he was very happy uh, receiving that. We saw him, and he was like, oh, thank you. What is... Uh, oh, what is this? He, he actually spoke in English. What is this? <laughs> when Emmy handed the handwritten letters to him, he was like, What is this? In English. He was just like, Oh my god, this precious being. <laughs> anyway, um, at the end, we were like, Thank you for inviting us. Um, I, I, I also mentioned to him, this wasn't practice, but I, had, I just had to tell it to him. Although in English, so it was good we had a translator. I had to tell him that those letters were pro- are proof that you have so many fans all over the world. So we had to give it to you just so you know that you are very loved and you are popular. And we hope to support you along the way. From now, uh, con- We hope to continue to support him. So yeah, so he was very thankful for the uh, gift, and yeah, it ended with us saying goodbye, hope to see you soon, something like that, and then the interview ended, and as soon as the interview ended, okay, we will be going to the, oops, 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 after, (laughs) so after the interview ended, we ha- me uh emmy had to do stuff with yusuke kobayashi and his manager i think they were supposed to discuss things me and the other admins we had to gather again to just spaz spaz that was all we did we just spaz we were like oh oh oops oh my god was that true we just interviewed the Yusuke Kobayashi was this we were like oh my god I, I actually cried I actually cried because oh my god all the all the tension and all the excitement is done but still the fleeting feeling of being able to interview a seiyuu was like oh my gosh oh my gosh oh my gosh that, that that's just we were talking with the admins and are you, you and you i was like are you guys okay how are you feeling are you guys happy like, so of course we're happy tencho and i was like thank you so much i was i was really just thanking them for you know being there uh i was just thanking them for being able to do this interview with me thank you guys i was like thank you guys um I wouldn't have, we wouldn't, TSC wouldn't have been what we were if it weren't for the people who were with me and for those who were supporting us. So I wouldn't really be able to contain this much gratitude and I just cried to them. So I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope you guys continue to support me, to support TSC. And they were like, of course, then show me. Thank you, thank you. I'm really happy though. So, a few days later, we still, I mean, after the interview, maybe after a day, after two days, after three weeks, that feeling was still the best. I couldn't show it to you, but I actually wrote something on my diary and i was like best day ever (laughs) that was one of the best days ever that was one of the best days that made me happy and i couldn't reiterate how much that experience made me very 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 happy so yeah even after a week even after so yeah after the interview we prepared a lot of things we prepared for the article the article actually was a bit delayed because we had to check a lot of things with the office his office um we had to check if the 
translation was correct if we used the correct photos or something and then when the interview was released two weeks ago i think yeah when the interview was finally released two weeks ago so many people were wow tsc you were able to interview yay congratulations i was overwhelmed i have to be honest i was very very overwhelmed and i was very happy so many people were supporting us and i mean it isn't every day you're able to do something that you do i I mean it's not every day that you're able to do something that you've always wanted and be happy about it um being able to enter creating the seo cafe was one of the best things that i've ever done in my life i've met so many friends i've met so many people i've 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 created so many online friends because of tsc and being able to you know just be able to actually interview a seiyu this is just the beginning you know this is just this is just the start and i hope a lot of you will continue to support us we i speak for everyone but we will not be able to do these things if it weren't for you guys who support us we will not be able to have interviewed yusuke kobayashi if it weren't for you guys we will not have been able to create this community if it weren't for you guys so thank you thank you so much for always supporting tse and we know that this is just the start so hopefully you'll still be with us for our hopefully the next say you interview okay so that was my experience so let me just go to our question for the day which i will be reading from you all so fan question what is your favorite yusuke kobayashi role and why so he has so many you know questions he have so many questions he has so many roles but which role of his is your favorite and why so i'm going to read some of your answers which i'll be waiting because i feel like it's delayed i feel like it's delayed so i'm just gonna wait for your answer this is a live stream anyway <laughs> we're already 40 minutes in can you believe that i've been talking by myself for 40 minutes <laughs> uh, all of your message all of your messages are so sweet thank you so much oh let me just okay <laughs> I just really I just read some of the replies for this fan question for today. So this is from Hemandi 90 Natsuki Subaru probably Natsuki Subaru. Yeah, Natsuki Subaru from Rezero is one of his most famous roles. And that is actually the role that got him the award in Crunchyroll last year, I think. Yeah, so Toshiro from ah, uh, this is from Toshiro, and the reply is Natsuki Subaru. Yeah, Natsuki Subaru. So, <laughs> is no one is is no one else going to answer? <laughs> okay, let me just check though. I think I think I have a lot of favorite roles from Yusuke Kobayashi. So. I've mentioned that I like Senku. Actually, Senku in Doctor Stone. I actually like Tamahiko in Oto. Uh, was that Taisho Otome Otogi Banashi? And if some of you don't know, he's also Subaru Uchimaki Subaru in Kono Bijutsubu Niwa Mondai Garu. That was one of his first roles that I heard from me, from him, and I really, really like it okay okay some people are responding already 
Okay, this is from Dana, one of the admins. Definitely Natsuki Subaru. His voice acting was showcased in that role. But before that, I love Senko as well and Arthur in Fire Force. True, 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 true. Okay, the answers are coming finally. Okay, this is from Sion, Sion. For me, I think I'll go with Laswell from the mobile game Final Fantasy Brave x Woo! <laughs> uh... His role as Laswell from Final Fantasy Brave x is actually one of his first mobile game roles, I think, if I'm not mistaken. I think that was, if not the first, one of the first. So yeah. From Yamashita Carey. Shima Tamahiko really captured my heart. Oh yeah, that's true. It was my favorite actually because I read the manga and when it was announced that it was going to be Yusuke Kobayashi, I was really really happy. Then, this is from Saku, Uchimaki Subaru, Konobi. I really like Arts already, but when I noticed that he voiced the MC, damn, I was surprised because that is not how he always voices characters. So unusual, but very good. I know, right? I know. I really like Konobi as well. So, who else? I, I won't be able to read everyone's answers, okay? So this is from Abby. Definitely Ishigami Senku for me. His voice was so amazing there and he characterized him well. So, so much. That's also how I got to know him and since then, he's been one of my favorites. True, 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 true. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm reading something very, very... <laughs> Hoping he gets the voice Heizo in Genshin. <laughs> that was from Saku. <laughs> Yeah, so what else? So some of you, let me just well, let me just read some of them. Toshiro Natsuki Subaru, Master Saitama, Senku, Jin, I like Senku too. Pami Ishigami Senku and Shima Tamahiko. Rachel, for me it's Natsuki Subaru. The emotions of the character was portrayed perfectly by him. It was such a chef's kiss performance. I am always in awe listening to him as Subaru. Mm -hmm. mm. This is from Areno. Mine is Ishigami Senku because I like how tense and sound smart he delivers his voice acting to the character he portrays. Mm -hmm. So many Ishigami Senku and Natsuki Subaru. That's really nice. That's really, really nice. Okay, so... I think... I think I overtimed again. I thought I won't be able to speak for more than 30 minutes, but I did. <laughs> Which means I'm very talkative. <laughs> but again, so I think that's our episode for today. Feel free to keep on sharing your favorite roles from Yusuke Kobayashi. Um, and then please remember to oh let me just you know mention our article so for those who are listening i hope you check out our article because if you purchase uh, if you read the article you will see that there is actually a special gift from yusuke kobayashi from him to us he has given us the opportunity to uh uh, sell a voice message from him to us and it's a special voice message thanking overseas fans and if you purchase his voice message now you will have the chance to get a signed autograph from him so you better check out our you better check out check out our article purchase his voice message and get a chance to win the signed autograph by the way by the way we will be launching something about the payment method um in the in a few days we will be opening a different payment method for the the purchase so if you guys do not have a paypal which is the payment method for the article uh, for the voice message 
please watch out for our announcement in the next few days because we will be opening a new payment method for all of you who would like to purchase his voice message and get a chance to win a signed autograph so yeah what else am i supposed to say this is so weird for a live radio we're already 50 minutes in so yeah as i mentioned check out for the announcement in a few days we will be opening other payment methods for those who are not able to use paypal and yeah i think this is our episode for the day our very very long episode for the day clap 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 so the 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 this what do you call this this episode will be archived and will be added into our <laughs> wait i didn't prepare so our radio this episode will be archived and will be uploaded into some of the podcast in apple podcast google podcast overcast pocket cast radio public spotify this will also be available in youtube and this has been one of the most successful live stream i've had there are so many viewers with so many comments thank you so much for joining our radio for today i am very very thankful for you guys for listening to me for one hour <laughs> even though we had a few prick frag at the beginning because of my internet but thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you so much arigatou gozaimasu minasan uh see you all in the next episode and i hope you guys have a wonderful day wonderful morning wonderful afternoon wonderful evening i hope you guys uh I hope you guys will be able to support us until our next see you. So, thank you and have a good day. Bye bye. Mata ne, mata ne, bye bye.